almost nine o'clock so that means I need to hurry up and get into the studio I'm at Clayton Studios getting ready to do a recording for NPR it's gonna be a little different this time so I'm gonna take you on my journey with me and it really is contactless. I'm taking off my mask because I went in through a back door and magically it seems like I just ended up in my studio where I'm going to record. They said that they did wipe everything down. He assured me of that, so let's get to work. Okay, deep breath when you start, that was great. Okay, let me get a sip of water. Kind of shake your shoulders, it sort of, you know. <laughs> okay, Yeah. I'm ready. So burn this up. I'll just, just read the last line of the intro and then just take it away from there. Kara Anthony with Kaiser Health News has been investigating how young people in St. Louis are affected by gun violence and what they do to cope. Long before the coronavirus pandemic pushed us all to quarantine at home, the Hicks family had their own version of sheltering in place from gun violence. 